I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to... the Philippines. This is going to be an intense stare-off before the fight starts. And now we toss it up to the world-renowned ring announcer, Mr. Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from the Philippines, wearing the white trunks trimmed with white. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here. And there's the bell to start the round. Cut doesn't land. The crowd here cannot wait. They've been buzzing all day long, and finally, we're about to get it on. You have certain fighters that are born for this, that are made for the big crowd. And look in that corner right there. That is that fighter right there. They have elevated, lifted the fight. They're not touching the ground. This is what they were born for. What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. And he did catch him. He caught him clean. Clean as a whistle. There's a scoring blow. Perfect counter shot. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? You've know, been in fights like that. When you think you come up, though. They're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. That uppercut doesn't land. Typical outside fighter, as you know, focuses on defense. Stick and move, stick and move. If you want to corner an outside fire, make them fight off the rope. They don't want to do that. They don't want to stand still. They want to move left to right. Pin him down. Throw a blanket on him. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. He's going to drop his arm. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecard. Going to need a knockout. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. They ring the bell, and here we go. After that last round, something has got to change. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him, 
Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until you sense the comeback. Not so tense anymore. Trying to loosen things up. I like it. Perfect counter land. Work has to be on point when you're fighting a swarmer. If it's not, you're going to get caught in the corner and beaten up. Oh man, you've got a swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the roll up. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put him on the blind side of the ring. Get him, get him. Kind of like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. So tap for tap. Now, now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch of both of them. So I've got to respect both of them more than I'm looking for. So close, so close. How, how can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night for the night for the judges. They shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. Ten seconds to go. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I they ring the bell, and here we go. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Hey, it's the featherweight division. You're going to see a lot of speed in this fight. Todd, look back in history. Sugar Ray Leonard against Roberto Duran. The first fight, Sugar Ray Leonard tried to fight, stand there toe to toe with him. The second fight, he thought this guy's a, a chance to make history. Doing their job. What a Get shot. through the round, regroup, right, freshen up, boom, different tactic. back up now but they've got to be cautious cannot afford to trade back now can they Johnny so that look at the corner look at the instructions they're telling you to calm down make the most of the count get up breathe and move get behind the referee save yourself a bit of time you just need to make your way back to the corner somehow get to the end final 10 seconds here and this has not been his round for sure The game plan changes after that big knockdown. To make or break a fighter. And there's 
the bell to start the round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with it. Not so rigid anymore with the stance. Looking to land the hook. And they're down, trying to make it up before 10 as the referee continues the count. I don't Halfway care who the round and they've got some work to do to get back shot into like it. That, There's a lot of work to do, and you know what? A it's shot hard from to pull back. Don't get into out. the habit of losing. Don't get into the habit of being second place. You've got to change the habit. You've got to change something. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. What well, now is about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you. The corner's got the towel. Are they going to throw it in? And the referee will begin the count. Ten seconds to get up. I don't see any movement here. It looks like this one's going to be over. He caught him with that body shot, and it froze him in his tracks. Look at this again. I need to see that again. His legs are gone. And there's the bell to start the round. Is this the beginning of the end after two knockdowns last round? I have no idea what they have left. What, how, how do you come back from something like this? Not twice? But where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. Thank goodness we've got instant replay. We get to see it again. Shot from the gods, they say. A shot from the gods. Ladies and gentlemen, a knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. A knockout victory. That is tough.